What's up? Mark Lamont here, my training partner, Van. What's going on? I thought I'd bring him in here. He brings a unique perspective, a southern perspective, a simple perspective, because in the south, y'all can't really think too hard. It starts to hurt. And um, he's going to hit me. Anyway, <laughs> this comes from Alex, and um, this is a good one. This is a good one. Alex's question is, car the subject is carbs versus saturated fats. My housemate is really pissing me off. We're both training and eating like men on a mission at the moment, but with slightly different goals. Me on a muscle bulk and him with strength, fat loss, aesthetic targets. He's basically a hate crusade against carbs and won't touch any carbs ever. In the car the other night, I jokingly suggested getting a McDonald's drive through and giving him road dome. No, I, I made that up. That was, a, that was a joke. There was nothing in there about head. <laughs> We hate McDonald's, and rightfully so. And he told me to stop swearing. Where did he say? He went? Oh, okay, McDonald's was, was a curse word. I was, that, was, that was an inside joke. Um, the next morning, I went, next morning, and I see he is taking to work with him a five-pack of pepperoni processed sausages, which are packed full of really shit nutrition, including 25% of the RDF saturated fats in each small serving. This is a fucking long letter, dude. No shit. Yeah, we might have to get the extra upload space for YouTube. I tell him he's an idiot, he has the right to have such disdain for McDonald's when he's eating shit like this, high in processed meat and saturated fats, to which he replies, saturated fats are good for you. They're healthy and raise testosterone levels. As long as there's no carbs, it's all good. Which I replied, well, eat at fucking McDonald's then. Well, there's carbs in the buns, comes the response. And if the common ground of horrendous overall nutrition and sky high and healthy fat levels is neither here nor there. <laughs> Please tell this guy he's a fucking clown on YouTube so I can show him the video and let him know what's up. As far as I'm concerned, he has crossed the line into madness. We're a processed sausage, no bigger than my middle finger. My sausage is bigger than your middle finger, probably. Processed? Is yours pro? I don't know. It's circumcised. Um, you probably didn't want to know that. Um, that provides a quarter of the saturated fat RDA. Dude, this guy's all over that fucking RDA. I love it. He is pissed off by the other RDA. <laughs> <laughs> Them their RDAs. is not only acceptable, but good. And any sort of carbohydrate is spawn of Satan's arse. Oh, and McDonald's is somehow a swear word with the same fucking product in a different packet is great. Win this war for me, man. Thanks and keep it the good work. I'm going to defer to Van. <laughs> Here you go. I'm passing the baton. Now, personally, I think a balanced diet is the best way to go. It doesn't say what type of goals they're doing. It just says eating like men on a mission. What the mission is, I don't know. Um, a lot of guys swear by low carb, though. I mean, low carb does work. And there's low carb Corey, who's now life coach Corey. I don't know why you're going to ruin this video. But <laughs> no, I have Corey. nothing against Corey. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, me personally... When I'm dieting, <laughs> I eat carbs. I think a well-balanced diet is the best way to go. There's people that do low-carb, and I, it don't really bother me what other people do, do you know? <laughs> I mean, this who, who we go, Alex, you're really bitter about what somebody <laughs> else is eating, you know? The man don't want to eat no damn carbs. I mean, who gives a shit, you know? I mean, y'all gonna fight in the freaking backyard over fucking sausage. I mean, fucking fight in the backyard over fucking sausage. I mean... <laughs> Well, here, here's the deal. I think his main thing is the processed food thing. I don't know if it's the low-carb thing, but it's the processed food being hypocritical with the buns and the burgers versus this pepperoni sausage. Is it pepperoni? What's a, what's a pepperoni sausage? Is it pepperoni he put? Well, you know, the level of processing that goes on into a uh, sausage varies. I don't, you know, I mean... Us being in the South, I might have made a little bit of sausage, too. You know, it's just fat and meat. You put it in a grinder like this and pops out, you know. <laughs> McDonald's, I don't really have a problem with McDonald's. I'm not going to eat fast food on a regular basis. But I don't believe that anything is going to kill you. Ain't nothing going to ruin your physique by eating McDonald's once in a while. You know, I, Alex, I just think you're way, way, way too uptight. I mean, I, I, you're up here, man. I'd take the stress level down here a little bit. I think you and your roommate need to kind of, you know, your housemate, whatever y'all are doing, you need to calm down. This is like a relationship tiff. <laughs> there like, might be some sexual tension going on here. <laughs> I don't know. Is your roommate a female? No. I'm, I'm going to get into the science of this because that's that's why I'm here. Now, um, saturated fat raises testosterone levels. Sort of. Um, lack of saturated fat will cause a testosterone, could cause a deficiency in testosterone. But, you know, you got to realize that's the same with zinc, ZMA. 
you're not going to see me recommend ZMA because most of us have plenty of zinc in the diet. ZMA, in my opinion, is one of the most oversold, overpromised supplements of our time. So he does have a point saying that saturated fat contributes to healthy testosterone levels. Most of us are getting plenty of saturated fats in our diet just eating meat, eating red meat, and pepperoni sausage. <laughs> what the fuck's that? And um, so basically, <clears throat> I do think that for the most part of the whole processed food versus whole food thing, you want a McDonald's. He wanted his sausage. He doesn't like buns. Like me, you like the buns. I like big buns. I cannot lie. So my opinion is, dude, you're both fucking wrong. I'm not going to make him look stupid. You're both not wrong. You both have your opinions, and you both need to just work with each other. So he doesn't want McDonald's. Tell him to shut the fuck up while you eat your double cheeseburger and, you know, uh, do what you need to do. McDonald's mac on some fat bitches while you're in there, man. Thank Go. You. Get a fucking cheeseburger. Throw those fucking buns on the motherfucking window. Dude! I don't know. Yeah, I, I, when I was ketogenic back in the day when I tried the keto diet, I was on a business trip with Weeder, and I pulled up to Burger King. I ordered like four double whop, whatever the fuck they were called. I just threw the buns away at like 10 pieces of meat. I felt like shit on that diet. My skin was all oily and shit. But nonetheless, if he wants to go keto and he's about processed food, throw the bun away. So you guys can't compromise. What I think is that you guys just are paying too much attention to each other. And, um... Honestly, saturated fat, while not a bad thing, you know, isn't uh, the cure for low testosterone as he makes it out to be. So that's it, man. Just just get along, man. There is no war. You guys are like, you know, Ireland, you know. You've been in a civil war for like 20 years. Just fucking end it. Just live together. Shut the fuck up and eat what you want. Anything else? Yeah, that sums it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Peace.